In this video from Device Doctor, we'll fix Epson Error 031006, a common issue in printers like the L3210 and L3110. I'll guide you step by step to solve it professionally. Let's begin. If you're having trouble with your printer, you can fix it for free on your own. If you have any technical questions or aren't sure which printer to buy, just ask us for expert advice and free support. When you turn on the printer, after a few seconds, all the lights start blinking simultaneously and the print head doesn't move at all. How to find the main issue in the printer? This issue can be caused either by a problem with the waste ink pad counter or an issue in the main board. To identify the exact cause, simply print a test page and check the error message shown on your computer. As you can see, error 031006 has appeared. This error is related to the main board and is usually caused by a blown fuse, specifically fuse F1, which supplies power to the printhead. When this fuse is damaged or disconnected, the printer can't function properly. Let's fix it step by step. First, turn off the printer and unplug it from the power source. Next, remove the two screws on the front cover of the printer. Next, lift the scanner unit carefully and disconnect its cables from the main board. Once the cables are detached, remove the scanner completely. Now, remove the metal cover that secures the main board in place. Break on that beat, going crazy. Now, carefully disconnect all the cables connected to the main board, one by one. Be gentle to avoid any damage. After disconnecting the cables, remove the screws securing the main board. This will allow you to easily lift and remove the main board. Now you can easily remove the main board and repair the fuse F1. First, use a multimeter to check if fuse F1 is actually blown or damaged. As you can see, fuse F1 is completely blown and needs to be replaced or repaired. Since the fuse is blown and no longer works, instead of replacing it, we carefully reconnect it by soldering a wire directly over the fuse using a heat tool. 
This restores the circuit connection without removing the fuse. Now place the cover back inside the printer exactly as you removed it. After reconnecting the main board, attach the printer's scanner unit. Now, connect the power cable and turn on the printer to check if the two lights error is resolved.
As you can see, the problem is fixed. Now, close the printer cover completely. As you can see, our printer is working perfectly and the problem is 100% fixed. This error usually happens because of a short circuit caused by ink or moisture damaging the print head's connections. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you, please like and subscribe for more Device Doctor tutorials.